All right, today is July 23rd, 2016. And right now at 9 p.m. in the foothills of Los Angeles, we have a temperature of 75 degrees. The relative humidity is 68%. We have a dew point of 64 degrees. And the barometer is reading 29.93 right now. Okay, and uh, we're watching the water vapor loop on the uh, Hawaiian Islands up close, and we're watching uh, Tropical Storm Darby uh, blown apart right as it approaches the southern half of the uh, big island. We can see the huge blast pattern right here. This huge uh, superheating process, and that is uh, producing a large blast pattern. Now, the, uh, the visible light map is corrupted, of course, because they don't want us to see uh, what they had planned for the last moment. They're going to run this thing right over the, the island as as uh, we're watching here now. I thought they might uh, turn it up towards the north. That's That was the forecast. But then it would hit all these other islands, so they opted to uh, run it right along the southern edge of the island, and that's what they've done. But uh, they're blowing it apart. We can see the blast pattern here. This is really amazing stuff. Look at that. So they are superheating the storm. Now, if we go to the... Uh, the visible light mode, the whole map is corrupted. We can't see much of anything, and that is because they uh, are attempting to hide their work. So they've corrupted the maps, and uh, that's a convenient, uh, easy out for them. So, But uh, we have the blast pattern. We have the wind speed down to 40 miles per hour. Let's take a look at that. Here's the Central Pacific Hurricane Center information for Darby right now. July 23rd, we have uh, maximum sustained winds of 40 miles per hour. This is what they've done. They've blown this thing apart as it, as, as it has approached Hawaii, and we have a 40 mile per hour uh, gale, basically, uh, moving through the Hawaiian Islands. All right, so we have, uh, it's moving uh, west at 10, 10 miles per hour with a core pressure of 1,006 millibar. Millibars, okay, so that's what we have. and. Uh, but that is quite a blast pattern. They are targeting this storm in several places because this is a big area right here. Obviously, we can compare that with the size of Hawaii. This storm is probably five or six times the area of the Big Island. All right, so they have wound that storm down. They've superheated it as it's moved toward the island, and now we have 40 mile per hour winds. That's that's what they did last uh, year and the year before. We we saw the uh, Hawaiian Islands. There was a number of hurricanes uh, last season, which I documented, and every one of them was routed around the islands. Uh, but they they always actually none of them actually hit the island. This is probably the closest that we've seen in, in, in two or three years where a hurricane actually is, or rather a tropical storm and, or a gale has, has gone right over the big island like this. But they're putting on a show, and uh, that's, that's what they're doing. So let's take a look at some of the big maps. Uh, this is the Northeast uh, Pacific. We can see that we've got a couple of new storms here. This is, uh, well, let's take a look at the map. Um, let's go back here. We have Frank and Georgette. So Frank is moving up the uh, right here along the Baja Peninsula at 8 miles per hour, 65 mile per hour winds. And we have Georgette over here. This is a 75 mile per hour uh, hurricane, Category 1, 75 mile per hour maximum sustained winds, moving west, due west at 9 miles per hour with a core pressure of 993 millibars. All right, uh, let's look next at the, uh, this is the uh, SSEC geostationary map. And we can see that last pattern right here on the Big Island. They're hitting this in several places. Let's see if we can take a look at the uh, visible light map right here and see if that has any good detail. Just hang on here a sec. Let that load. Uh, while we're waiting for that to load, let's take a look at the western U.S. water vapor map. We can see that the monsoonal flow, which is moving towards uh, Arizona and California, is being 
targeted once again. We can see all the uh, steam and water vapor, leftover water vapor from these storms being blown apart. Here's a new cell that is developing. This will uh, be targeted and blown apart here probably within the next three or four hours. We'll see the uh, blast patterns and, and all that. We have high pressure parked right over Texas. They've installed this, and that is winding everything around in a clockwise manner away from uh, California and Nevada. Same old stuff. We have upper low pressure over here, and we have uh, the transmitter that has plowed a whole new path today. We see this right here is the leading edge of that transmitter, and all those violent thunderstorms are right there where that descending air is, is uh, forced down into those into that moisture and, and thunderstorm activity. Let's take a look at this in the uh, infrared map. And uh, this is this is uh, this area here is being depicted as a uh, jet stream flow on the jet stream map. But this is a transmitter just bulldozing a path to maintain separation from this uh, thunderstorm area here, this low pressure. And we have uh, and that is maintaining separation between this area of weather and what's happening up here. Okay, there is the infrared map showing the clearing between the monsoonal thunderstorms, this high pressure, everything's winding around that high pressure. And here's the uh, visible light map. We can see some photoshopping over this supercell right here. They are hitting that with a microwave and they're trying to hide their work. Trying to hide the blast pattern. We, actually, we can see a couple of rings right there on the last couple of frames shooting out. Blast rings. Right, let's take a look at the uh, visible light map now. And uh, we can zoom in. Let's see if we can get this thing to zoom. Uh, Okay, I guess we don't have any zoom capability on this map. This is the first time I've actually... Uh, oh, here we go. All right, very good. Okay, let's uh, take a look. There we go. Learning on, learning on the fly. Okay, let's see if we can get this thing to do what we want it to do. All right. We can see the blast pattern shooting out the uh, east side. And we have a ring right here. Look at these rings right there. There's, there's actually a several rings. We've got one right out there, and, it's, and there's three rings. I'll just get the pin out of the way, and we'll watch. Okay, so what they're not showing us in the NOAA visible light map, actually we have a, a better view right here. They're hitting, they're hitting the uh, Hawaiian Island right here. The major uh, blast uh, activity is occurring right, almost right on top of these islands. So we'd like to hear from the people there in Hawaii if you're, if you're getting uh, interference on your television reception or cell phone service or just what. This is quite interesting because we have a lot of a lot of blast patterns uh, right here. Several, several, uh, three rings. So they're really hitting this thing as it moves, as they're putting on the show for us. They're also blowing this thing apart to make sure it does not suddenly uh, uh, rebuild. Because see, these waters right through here are right about. I think about 82, 83 degrees. I have the, the map right here. Let's take a look at that. So we have right about here is where we're looking. So we have 27 degree Celsius right through here. That's where the storm came by. And we had 65 mile per hour winds right out here yesterday. And as this thing moved towards Hawaii, as the storm passing right is passing right over Hawaii, we have 
40 mile per hour winds, but note that the water temperature right here is actually warmer. You go down and look at the scale. Uh, right down here we see that this yellow greenish area is actually about 81 degrees. 27.6 is about almost 81 degrees, and that's what we're seeing right here. So the waters are actually warmer here, warmer right here, but yet the storm has weakened as it approaches the islands, and of course we know why that is. Uh, the blast patterns uh, indicate the microwave uh, targeting. They're uh, superheating that storm as it approaches. That's obvious. But what is not obvious is that the water is actually warmer on the back side where the storm is now uh, located. So um, <clears throat> let's go back and take a look. At, uh, let's see here. There we go. So there it is. Um, there's the evidence. There, the uh, weather controllers are ensuring that this storm, this storm will not uh, rebuild as it moves right by the Big Island. So there it is. Um, <clears throat> you saw those maps. You saw that. We have. This is uh, Frank, I believe it is. And uh, Georgette, I think it was right here. Georgette, yep. Okay. All right, so that's it. Um, <clears throat> we'll just leave it right here. This is all the evidence we need right here, folks. That is Tropical Storm Darby being blown apart. So they put on a show for us. Uh, and as this thing approaches warmer waters, <clears throat> the, uh, the storm weakens, which is not how it works, but here it is. Okay, that's it. Uh, we'll do another update tomorrow.